Hi, I'm Saoirse. Hi, I'm Eliza. And we're here to talk to you about GCSE Arts at Stonyhurst. Hi, I'm Chloe. Hi, I'm Lisa. And we're here to talk to you about studying A-level art. Hi, I'm Regina. Hi, I'm Betty. And we're going to be talking to you about IV Visual Arts. We are a well-resourced department with an access to a kiln for pottery, printing presses, studio lighting, a laser cutter and specialist materials for painting and drawing. We have an extensive library with a wealth of inspiration for our students and of course access to the historic collections which include works from Rembrandt, Jura and Turner. The college building, artworks and architectural details also offer a wealth of inspiration as does our ever-evolving displays in the art department where we proudly present our students' work. Personally, my favourite thing about studying art is the freedom to express yourself through different ideas and mediums. The advice that I would give someone choosing art is to have an open mind and to dig deep into your creative side. My advice for somebody studying art at Stonyhurst would be to take advantage of the creative students around you. The teachers are also brilliant at supporting and guiding you with your work in preparation for your GCSEs. Class sizes are capped to give the opportunity for personalised learning. Much of the feedback and development for our students' work is delivered through one-to-one -one tutorials during the lesson. This enables our students to discuss progress and development for their own particular work, enabling us to stretch and challenge their abilities and enhance their skills and understanding. My current project is based on self-identity. I'm enjoying exploring visual ways to express who I am. And my advice would be to have an openness of mind and um, a passion for creativity. Recently uh, we had an artist come in called Ian Murphy who was very inspiring and taught us many new techniques and particularly he worked very quickly and quite messy. His final outcomes were very refined but the process was so much different and it was so amazing to have an insight into that. What I like the most is that I have the opportunity to explore lots of different techniques and mediums which is part of the requirement for the IB course. I have been able to do some painting, drawing and printmaking, photography and I am currently working on producing a 3D piece. Within the A-level course we are expected to produce a variety of practical work following our theme. I document all my influences and decisions in my sketchbook so create a journey the teachers here are really inspiring and uh, you have a sense that they really care about your whole person and what you're going through and it's really inspiring to, to have teachers who are so open to new ideas. The art department is open access and students are welcome to work in art all times of the day. Also in the art department, they go on to study a range of courses in the creative industries. Architecture, fine art, interior design, editorial fashion photography and graphic design to name a few. All universities require a practical portfolio as part of the application process for an art related degree. We run twilight portfolio sessions to support students, showcase their work and take trips in the summer to visit art degree shows. There have been trips to New York, London and local art visits that have helped inform our work. There is also a lot of flexibility and freedom in terms of what you can create, which is really enjoyable and a change from GCSE. Taking the driving seat in terms of the subject and theme of your work is really empowering. The teachers are really knowledgeable and enthusiastic and are always available for help. You're welcome to come into the department anytime you want outside of your normal lesson. The department is also really well stocked with lots of different art equipment and materials to allow you to create work in your chosen medium. Our department is a vibrant hub full of creativity, enthusiasm and life. After university I think my ultimate dream would be to start my own business. Uh, my ultimate dream would be to graduate from Parsons and get the opportunity to work with different designers and maybe even create my own brand in New York. I've really enjoyed studying art at Stonyhurst and I'd like to keep it as one of my passions for the future, although I would love to study law at university. My ultimate dream would be to become an art journalist, travelling the world and writing about art and its history. My ultimate dream is to be a fashion designer for Alexander McQueen. 
My dream would be to work with my mother and travel the world doing art.